This is the first time I have ever been excited and really gotten on board with the idea of repurposing a handbag to be something else. Welcome back to Lugnut TV with Jesse G, a channel for lug nuts all about the brand Lug. Now, if you're already a lug nut, you are no stranger to the trolley or the mini trolley. So the basic concept of these cosmetic bags or toiletry bags is that they have a ton of organization. The interiors are lined with wipeable material and they're great for travel. However, you can't wear it as a crossbody. This new bag is not exactly the trolley with a crossbody strap. Love tweaked the design a little bit to make it a true handbag that is trolley shaped. But the great thing about this handbag is that you can still treat it like the trolley if you don't need the plastic lining. These are great for things like makeup because sometimes makeup can get smeared on the inside. But if you're not putting anything smeary in here, you can still use this as a storage solution. So in my household, we have quite a few of these and I kind of treat them like little individual treasure chests. They're great for compartmentalizing things in your life by need or activity. These are great for school supplies, car organizers. Here are these three packed full so you can see how the trolley crossbody compares to the scoop and the mini trolley. The trolley crossbody is somewhere in between the size of the regular trolley and the mini. One thing that the mini and the crossbody have in common is neither are going to have the trolley sleeve on the back like the regular trolley does. So let's take a look at what exactly can fit where in this bag. The back pocket is the perfect size for an eco shopper. The front compartment is about the size of your splits XL, but it won't take up all of your space if you still wanna put cards in the card slots or something slim in this back zip pocket here. I can fit the choo-choo right at the bottom of the trolley crossbody with almost no room to spare. Now that doesn't account for the height. That's just about how much length and width you're going to have. Now for a couple of other ways you can pack this up. I think this would make a great kids activity crate for when you're traveling or even just spending a few hours in the car. In the back cargo pockets, I've got two loose decks of cards. Why are they loose? Because every time we buy cards, the boxes get destroyed. But those cargo pockets on the back are going to hold those card games nice and neat. And then when the kids are done, they can just slip them back into those pockets to help keep any from getting lost. The main interior would also be a great place for a small book. Those side pockets would definitely be great for small items. And here I've got a flashlight and a charger for one of their games. The back pocket is able to fit their 3DS. And in the front pocket, I've got the Nintendo Switch Lite. And the reason why that wallet is there is because number one, it fits. And number two, it's providing a bit of a buffer for those joysticks on either side. And if you wanted to, you could put the loose games in the card slots. Another way something like this might come in handy is if you wanted to use it as a small knitting bag. So maybe that day you don't need to take your whole big tote. You just want to put a few small things in something, put your yarn in here, your little chopsticks. So the side pockets, they've got some angles to go around here. And sometimes the zippers can get a little held up. But what I found works is if you hold on to the D-ring and gently pull up on that while you're opening and closing your zipper, it's going to be a much smoother zip. One more thing this awesome little bag would be great for is a minimalistic camera bag. I definitely don't have a lot of stuff that I ever travel with when it comes to my camera. But in this bag, I'm able to fit my large shotgun mic, my small camera, a few extra batteries and other accessories that I might need. And if I just wanted to walk around with this as my only bag, I could still fit my cell phone in here and maybe a small wallet like the Minuet. That way I only have to worry about my one bag and it's got all of my essentials for a video or a little photo shoot. So one thing I absolutely appreciate about this bag that they didn't have to put on here, but they did is the grab handle. And I know so many people are gonna agree. And they put anti-slip grip all around it. The bottom will not have the plastic feet and the crossbody strap is adjustable. Now, as far as the shape of the bag goes, it is a little scoopy, but it's also smaller. So let's see what this looks like as a crossbody. This is as short as the strap will go if you want to use this as a shoulder bag. And I kind of like it because it becomes like a little armrest. And like with most bags, I do like to wear this one up higher, especially with bags that are shaped like this, because the more of a 3D rectangle feel a bag has, the more it's gonna swing around while you're walking. When you have it up higher, you're gonna eliminate some of that movement. I think it's very comfortable. And I like this too, because then I can hold it like this. Wow. 
One more thing I'll show is how this bag looks if you want to swap out one of your short shoulder straps and use it with this bag. So here it is just as a little grabby bag. Let's get that strap. Definitely less of an armrest feel because I was down here before, but if you want your bag up a little bit higher, that could definitely work. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified to more content like this. Thanks so much for watching and like always, I'll see you guys next time.